and I have so much to show you, so I cannot wait. So come along on this week's adventure and let's do a haul at the end. Hello on this rainy Friday. It was actually super warm yesterday, but we have been suffering from carryover smoke from wildfires and the air quality has been so bad that today it is raining and usually I wouldn't be happy about that, but I am really happy it's raining because it's going to clear the air. Anyways, and now I'm heading to the Goodwill outlet down here in Olympia. I mean, and oh my gosh, look how huge this haul is. It is gigantic. Now I need to sort it, wash it, hang it, steam it. The work has just begun. just some of the clothes that I grabbed over the weekend and um, I love this jacket I picked this up today but it's like this velvet tuxedo jacket with this silk lapel it's so cool not a vintage piece but very nice and just a lot of really great kind of vintage items. I love these kind of disco, really bright vintage Woolrich. So that's fun. This I did, this is kind of a vintage piece. It doesn't look vintage, but look at the tag, made in the USA. That's been a while. This I did last night. This is kind of my winter project, but I got a bunch of these denim jackets and I have been picking up like these embroidery pieces and this one fit perfectly and I think it turned out really cute. Look at that. And then gosh, just like a bunch of other vintage items like this funky 80s like chambray denim jacket with this San Francisco print on it. Um, just some really cute pieces. This to me looks kind of just funky, but this is kind of the style right now. Um, I love this one. It's a Bill Blass little jacket, little corduroy jacket. And I love this leather jacket. And this one's kind of funky. This is from the 80s. So just some fun pieces.
everybody it's Saturday morning and I'm sitting in front of the convention center in Tacoma Washington which luckily is only like 10 minutes away from where I live and I'm getting ready to go into the Thriftapalooza which I have never even heard of before but it sounds like a bunch of garage sales all in one space and luckily it's inside not outside and I paid $20 so I could get in early to, uh, I think the doors open at 8 o'clock well I know they open at 8 o'clock so I found a great parking I'm kind of hesitant to get out of my car too early because it is chilly outside like the weather turned almost instantly from like really super beautiful and nice and warm to feeling like winter so anyways i'm really excited i brought my little wagon or not a wagon it's more like a a, a little cart not a cart a basket a basket on wheels <laughs> So the convention center is really big and I'm not sure what, where the entrance is. I don't see any people. So I'm gonna go around to the front. So this is a first. So they let me into the convention center. Apparently it's on the fifth floor and I don't have to wait outside because it is cold out. <laughs> I spotted this Bakelite clock and I just had to have it, even though it didn't have the glass. And I also fell in love with these green 1970s canisters. 
and these lavender highball glasses. I thought these were really cool, but they were really tiny. And the price was really not reflective of her other prices. So I left these ones behind. Okay. I will take these. I definitely nabbed the herons and then I spotted these beautiful heavy gilt gold frames with these art prints. There were four of them and I could not believe it when I basically nabbed all four for a total of $45. I actually bought a ton of stuff from this particular booth. I'm gonna keep looking. One more trip to go to get more of the stuff that I bought, but I just had to show you this absolutely stunning table with these swans. Is that not gorgeous? It isn't old, but it is so pretty and it's going to look amazing in our Christmas display. For the store. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. I am so glad I brought my little cart with me, my little flea market cart, which, you know, I hardly ever use it, but if, I mean, it was worth buying it just for this junking trip. And I filled it up four times. I had to make four trips to my car. <laughs> I'm heading home and my niece is spending the weekend with me so I'm gonna stop by get some sausages and I'm gonna make some French toast and sausages with real maple syrup it's a gorgeous day I am just out cloud nine after that really successful um, thrift of It turned out to be such a lovely day and we couldn't let it go without getting out and getting some fresh air and some sunshine. The P and W can be really cold and gray, but when the sun is out, it is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Hey, 
if you're new here, my name is Abigail and I am a vintage reseller. I have a store in Poulsbo, Washington. I have two antique booths in Seattle, Washington, and I sell on almost all the major platforms. I also post every single day on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you should because I always post my finds even before the videos and as usual if you like anything that you see just let me know but a lot of the items will wind up on my online shops and i do have a code that is love it buy it so that my viewers can save 15 percent off your order so thanks for joining me and let's get started I have to say the prices were so good at this Thrift of Palooza. Not only that, but the vendors were really negotiable, which was also good. So I wound up buying multiple items from several vendors that were really reasonable. And in no particular order, I'm gonna start with this one. So I love this. Look at that. It is this needlepoint butterfly. Butterflies are really hot right now. I'm going to say this one was probably done in the 70s, but look how cute it is. It's ready to go for a pillow. I think it is adorable. This one will go online and I think I'm going to put maybe like 30, 35 dollars on it. I also, from that same vendor, picked up these pieces of pottery. This is really cute. It kind of looks like a little garlic. And it was $3, and this one was $5. I just noticed this has a little chip, but I think I will mark it as is, but I think I'll try to cover that up with a little bit of brown paint so you can't hardly see it, but I will say as is. And this particular vendor wasn't that negotiable, but I think her prices were really good. She gave me a tiny discount, but at $3 and $6, you can't really beat that. Now this one is near and dear to my heart. So this is a little piece of stoneware that is also considered spongeware. And I love these. This is very vintage, probably from the 20s or the 30s. I have great big bowls of spongeware. And spongeware used to be highly collectible. It isn't at the moment, but it's not like it's not going to come back. It will like everything else. And so I think I'm going to keep this one because it is adorable. And I don't have any spongeware that's this little. I have a lot of yellowware that small like this but not a piece of spongeware and that is so perfect so i right off the bat i stopped at this one vendor and i got these beautiful set of smoky 1970s glasses and gosh i don't even know what i paid it wasn't very much i think it was six dollars for a set of six i also got this beautiful 1970s Amber, I think I got two of these and six of these. These were only a dollar. So that was such a good deal. And it's funny because I stopped right away at their booth and there was so much wrapping to do and I really wanted to get through the market. And so I just had them wrap it all and they held it until I was done. And then I came back and picked them all up, but I, I did that at like three different booths and I was so afraid I was gonna forget something, but I didn't, thank goodness. Speaking of Christmas, I also got this funny little rubber-faced Santa. Look how funny he is. And he's got like this hat behind him. I'm not quite sure like what he was for. Maybe he was just a piece of decor. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell him at the store or sell him online. I only paid $3 for him. And I think more than, oh, you know what I think he is? He's like a bank because I feel change in there. Like there's like pennies or something in there. So I think you would put money in there. That is very interesting. So I think I will put him online. Maybe I'll put him up for auction on eBay. We'll see how it goes. So I don't know anything about baskets, but this basket really appealed to me. 
It is a beautiful woven, I think it's a Native American. It actually has a little note on it and it says Makta Mutale. And I don't know what that means. Maybe it isn't Native American. Maybe it's like South American. Um, and again, I don't know anything about baskets, but there are basket identification groups on Facebook. And I think I'm going to take a picture and actually post it on there. And maybe somebody can identify it with for me. So let's do some cottage core for those of you that love. This one is actually more English country, French country. Look at this guy. Is he not amazing? He is so pretty. He had $5 on him. He is not old, not old at all. I can tell, but I think he is magnificent and he will go online just so you could see him better. Is he not beautiful? But he's going to go online and I will probably put maybe $68 to $75 on him just because I think he's that good. I love a good lion or leopard and this one is everything. I got this cute little Felix the Cat ashtray in this kind of like smoky glass. I thought that was so cute for two bucks. I absolutely love this. Look at this. It's this marble apple with this lid. It is so pretty. It's just stunning. I think in that booth, they just wanted people just to make offers. They didn't care. They were just trying to get rid of stuff. So I think I offered three or four dollars for this. You're going to love this one. Look at this. It's a Pegasus horse. Isn't he cool? That was from that same vendor that just wanted offers. And I think I offered $3 for him and they took it. This next piece really has a mid-century modern feel to it. Look at that. It's just this really beautiful piece of pottery. The only thing is it does have some damage there. And again, I will mark it as is, but I will also add a little bit of paint to it just so you, it's not that noticeable. And it is signed on the bottom, but um, all it says, I mean, all we, all we were able to make out is that it is handmade or maybe it says handmade in Italy, but it definitely strikes me as an Italian piece. I don't know, maybe maybe Laura Caldwell will watch this video and fill me in on this because I really have like no idea. But I thought it was super cool. And it was that same vendor that just wanted offers and because it did have damage, I almost left it behind, but I offered her $3 and she took it. So the next item is this beautiful blue decanter. So cool. I love barware. We have been selling so much barware lately. And this is just a beautiful piece. It would be a great display item. And I think it's probably from the 1970s. This isn't all glass. This is more of a rubber stopper, which tells me it's probably from the 70s, maybe late 60s. I'm going to say 70s. It's probably a reproduction of an older piece. And this one will go to the store and we will mark this one at $55. I also picked up this lovely lady. <laughs> so I just sent a message or I just commented on Laura Caldwell's Instagram. And I said, I picked up a wooden Athena and I only knew that this was Athena because she had mentioned she had picked one up and she didn't notice that it had boobies. So she didn't know if it was an Athena and then she turned it around and noticed that that's where they were. But this one had has on both sides and usually you find these in metal and I've never seen one that's actually in wood like this but it was interesting enough that I paid $7.50 for it and I did decide to take it I think it's super cool it's gonna go online 
I haven't comped it, so I don't know what the value is. But for those of you that love mid-century modern, this is a pretty cool piece. I have to show you this piece, which is going to be very different than the next pieces I'm, I'm going to show you. But they're also art. But look at this mid-century modern beauty. It has both autumnal, autumnal and winter vibes to it. I love this kind of shape, this long vertical rectangle, rectangle shape. And I only paid $10. That's right, $10 for this. I couldn't believe it. I, I'm just like, I will take that. Last but not least, I picked up four of these. I could not even believe my luck. Um, they were priced at $15 a piece, but I think I wound up getting four or five of them for like $13 a piece. And wait till you see them. Look at these. <laughs> Is that not crazy beautiful? Oh my gosh. Like look at the work on this. These are just absolutely stunning. Ooh, and heavy, very heavy. Look at that. Just beautiful. I can't even believe my luck. And I know if I would have gone later that they would not have been there. I do have to say they are not old. You can see on the back, these are new, re new reproductions, but I would venture to say that each one of these is probably still valued at $275 to $300 because frames like this are not cheap. And look how beautifully done that is just gorgeous. So if you remembered an earlier video, I had um, picked up a painting in a frame very similar to this of a, of a kitten. And it was only like that big. It wasn't very big, maybe like that big. And that sold at the store for like $285. It sold for a lot. Hey, so I am so glad that you joined me on this week's adventure. If you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you and you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Music